80s synth pop on your ukulele. You only need these four easy chords and the G sus 2, which I'll go over, is optional. That's just something that I threw in on this arrangement. If you're a strummer, I've got a strumming pattern for you. If you'd like to do some finger picking, I have a logical finger picking pattern to show you. And then if you're more advanced in your finger picking, I have a harder finger picking pattern too. Both are really beautiful. Do you like to play riffs or are you riff curious? Well, I have a riff for the introduction that kind of imitates the sound of that iconic introduction that the Eurythmics did. And of course, there's a play along at the end. So grab your favorite beverage and come join me. A G sus too is like a G chord, except you're not going to put a finger on the A string. You're gonna leave the A string open. Now, that is just a really simple modification, but for me, it takes a lot of brain power. And part of that is, is we're having to relearn something. You know, do you ever drive kind of a normal route somewhere and then you've got to go somewhere different and you find yourself, oops, you're, you didn't make the turn you're supposed to because you're still driving that normal route in your head? Well, that's kind of like what's happening when you, all of a sudden you have to just do a slight modification. We're having to relearn something except for the pathway to relearn is sometimes a little rocky, or at least it is for me. I have to think harder. An island strum works beautifully with this piece. It's kind of nice and slow, so it gives you a relaxing pace in order to be able to do the island strum. How many times do you do an island strum? Well, I'll help you with that. A minor. two times on each chord. Do you think it's going to stay that way for the chorus? Let's find out. So talk to me and F again like lovers do and C again. Walk with me and F again like lovers do C again. Hey, and talk to me again. And here's a change. gives us a little bit of a change up just at the end. So that C, D, and G sus2 only get one repetition of the pattern and then the G you play single down strum. You don't have to play a single down strum, you could play a strumming pattern there, but I like to keep things interesting for the sake of being interesting. If you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. It really helps this channel out. Give this a big thumbs up and hey, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how things are going on your ukulele journey. Let me play the riff for you. One, two, here goes. <laughs> play it together four times. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, A couple hints. 
If you don't know how to slow down or speed up a video on YouTube, I will link it up here and down below in the description box that you might find that very helpful. One, two, let's do again. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One. You can strum the G. Keep the same shape. Play that three on the G string. Lift up your finger on the A string and then put it back down. So you don't have to change shape if you don't want to. Let's do it one last time. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, and I like to utilize both strumming and finger picking. No, I said that wrong. Finger picking <laughs> to make this song more interesting on the ukulele. I do the strumming for the chorus, but I like to do the finger picking for the verses. Here's a beautiful but easy finger picking pattern. I'm putting my thumb on my G string and I have a low G if you haven't figured that out. And index finger goes on the C string my middle finger takes the E string and my ring finger takes the A string. Thumb and three fingers have a string that they control. And you're going to go from the top, I call this string four, three, two, one, four, three, two, four, three, two. It looks like this. Let's just play on an A minor. One, two, ready, begin. Like that. Let's just play it on the A. I'll call out the strings as four, three, two, one. Going really slowly. Ready, begin, and four. I know that intellectually you've got this, but it does take some coordination. If you'd like a slow step-by-step -step learning process to learn this pattern plus another one along with five songs, I will have my finger picking course for this pattern and another pattern linked down below. I also have a free course if you're new to finger picking. When doing this pattern, you need to do four per each chord in the verse. Let's do this with the first two verses and four patterns for an introduction. One, two, here we go. This is a much more challenging finger picking pattern. In order to do it, your thumb goes between your G string and your C string. Your index finger takes the 
E string and your middle finger takes the A string. I'll say the string names as I do it and I'm playing it on an A minor. Four, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Like the island strum, the harder pick your pet, the harder. Okay, the harder finger picking pattern goes twice for each chord in the verse. Let's do two to get us into this. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, ready, begin. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a memory Falling on my head like a new emotion I want to walk in the open wind I want to talk like the lovers do Want to dive into your ocean Is it raining with you, oh baby? Talk to me like lovers do. Walk with me like lovers do. Talk to me like lovers do. the rain again raining in my head like a tragedy tearing me apart like a new emotion I want to breathe in the open wind I want to kiss like the lovers do I want to dive into your ocean is it raining with you so baby talk to me like lovers do walk with me like lovers do talk to me like lovers do I hope that this tutorial and play along has brought you joy and confidence in your ukulele journey. I would like to thank all my patrons for their great feedback, song suggestions, community building, and your very important financial support for my teaching efforts. If you appreciate what I do and have a few dollars a month to spare, I encourage you to join our growing Patreon community. Don't forget to hit that like button before you go and keep spreading the ukulele love.